so we are not in the normal shooting location for today's video and that's because I just got finished with school for the summer I've got one more year left after this summer but for now I'm back at home I'm back at my mom's house and I do not have a dedicated shooting space I'm working on something it's gonna look awesome I'll share that with you in a couple of weeks once it's all finished but today's video is going to be super informal as I'm currently at an elementary school and I'm sitting on a folding chair now because it is so nice outside I figured I would go out I'd fly the X Dynamics Evolve and I'd put together a little vlog showing off like some of the 4k footage straight off of this camera so you can get a feel for what this drone can do in terms of video but I am really disappointed in my findings and I thought that I'd be able to overcome my findings over the past couple of weeks as I've been flying this but today I feel like I've finally decided to throw in the towel because this drone is so unreliable when it comes to shooting video now if you're gonna be shooting photos it does a great job the specs are not that good it only takes 12 megapixel photos it's got a smaller sensor but I lent this drone to my friend Steve who's a great real estate photographer and he was able to pull some great images off of this drone now granted these are edited but I've got to say they do look better than nothing so there are three main reasons why I've been struggling to get really good footage with the X Dynamics Evolve I can say that it takes great video like the image looks good I'll put up an example for you I mean the saturation is on point the white balance is on point this is totally unedited it's 4k I think it looks great but there's three reasons that have really led me to not want to use this drone really ever in a professional situation when I'm trying to get the best looking footage possible now if I fly my Inspire 2 my Mavic 2 Pro or my Phantom 4 Pro those drones are so dead accurate I feel like they're an extension of my body because I can put them anywhere that I want to but this drone is just so cumbersome it doesn't fly like those drones do it doesn't fly like a really good high-end DJI drone and what's unfortunate is it's priced like one so the first thing that makes shooting with this drone unreliable is the lag that comes back through the transmission signal now it's nothing like OcuSync I'm not even gonna try to compare it to the Mavic 2 Pro but if you put this drone up and you get 400 feet out for some reason it begins to get all choppy and even if you bring it right back to you it remains choppy you've got to turn the drone off turn it back on and then you'll be set but you can't take it too far because it's just gonna get choppy all over again so I'll try to show you guys an example of what I'm actually speaking about yes you can still see what's going on yes you can still fly around and have a fun time but this lag totally kills the potential to shoot any smooth cinematic footage now the second reason kind of goes hand in hand with the lag that comes back from the drone through that image transmission system and that is the jerky gimbal so take a look at this footage right here it begins all fine and then the gimbal begins to jerk to the left probably four or five times totally ruining this shot now at first I thought it was just because of that lag I thought okay maybe when I look back at this on my computer it's gonna look fine but those jerks in the gimbal were still there and it totally ruined this shot as well as a ton of other shots that I took at this location and that was like a huge dagger for me like honestly I could have dealt with the lag I could have just taken the shot a couple of times and just waited for the transmission system to clear up but the jerky gimbal totally ruined all the footage I shot and I can't fix that so I really hope that X Dynamics can address those two issues in the form of a firmware update rather than saying it's hardware based and they can't do anything about it I'm pretty sure that they can update that image transmission system or they can add changes to it as time goes on because I've seen other companies improve their image transmission systems through firmware updates Updates, but I'm a little bit worried about that gimbal it could just be something hardware related to my own gimbal or all of the gimbals out there now the third issue I'm having or I guess the third reason why I don't really like filming with this drone is because of the remote controller it's just too big now I know I'm a hypocrite because I raved about this remote controller in the very first video I made about the X Dynamics Evolve I mean it's awesome clamshell design two built-in screens they're very bright it's a great remote controller but it's very big and very cumbersome and also the sticks don't really feel all that accurate now they are changeable you can raise them up a little bit but I love how high the sticks go on the Inspire 2 I mean they sit off the controller really high giving you really great control over the drone and I guess I can't really compare this drone to the Inspire 2 while they are somewhat similar in price they aren't similar in functionality the Inspire 2 is just so much better and coming from a drone like that might also be watering down my experience with this drone but it's set to compete with the Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro takes some of the best video out there you really can't beat it so I think that I'm gonna have to hang this drone up on the shelf until it gets a little bit better until maybe I learn to fly it a little bit better I mean I've been flying it for three or four weeks now and I still just can't get the hang of it and there's definitely a couple of reasons that are restricting me from reaching my full potential of flying this drone and 
I'm gonna have to wait until something is done about it or again maybe if I just man up and get better at flying it anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like subscribe and also let me know how awful the audio and video quality is because again I'm shooting outside but I hope you enjoyed